So these are going to be reviews of steel products. We are a landscaping company. Um, I am not a professional steel technician, so if I misquote something, please forgive me. Put any comments or questions down below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. We are going to be doing reviews of all the steel equipment that our local dealer sells. So if you've got any questions, just let us know. Hey everyone, today we've got this steel blower. This is the entry level unit. This is a BG50. Give you some specs on it here. It's 27 cc's. It's got right under a one horsepower, 0.9 horsepower. It weighs 7.9 pounds. And it only retails when we film this video at 139. You know, if you're considering going to Lowe's and buying a handheld blower or any of the other big box stores, I would stop you in your tracks. I would really consider this unit. For the price point, 140 bucks, it's a steel unit. Steel has a great reputation. If this unit breaks, it comes with a warranty. You walk into the place where you bought it from and, you know, they'll fix it for you. You buy something from a big box store, and if it breaks in six months, what are you gonna do? You gotta find someone to work on it, you have to mail it somewhere. I would say for the money, 140 bucks, you can't beat this one. Since this is- Okay, since this is Steel's uh, entry level product, you have just a simple rocker switch. There is no um, switch that returns to the run position. Your throttle, there is no lock. It's just, it is variable, but it's either on or off. The choke is the same way, it's just a simple toggle, choke, no choke, and the primer bulb is still there, it's easily accessible. Um, it does have your older style filter. Which is just a felt fil filter, it doesn't have a pleated or an automotive style filter. It does have a fuel cap just like all the other units, a screw cap. Just remember you want it tight but not overly tight. If there's fuel in here and it gets hot, it will, uh, it can be hard to get off. Okay, since this is, you know, $140, it does not have adjustable tube. There's no adjustment here. To take this out, you just twist it, pop it out, and you just have to buy another one to replace it. You got your cover on this side. This doesn't come off. This doesn't will not turn into a shredder back. We like these blowers. They're just easy for cleaning out the inside of crew trucks, or you know, if you want, if you want to keep a blower around the shop to blow out your bays, this is a good little unit. It's inexpensive, and they're pretty bulletproof. That I mean, they'll last forever. There's not a lot of you know any extras. So if you just need a blower to clean out a small area, I'd really look at this. Um, so yeah, if you got any questions, just let us know. Okay, that was a review of the steel product that our local dealer carries. If you've got a question or would like a review on a certain piece of equipment, post a comment below and we'll try to do that next.